Hello to all of you at home. I hope you're still keeping well and you're finding things to keep yourself busy and occupied. Today I would like to do some geometric drawing with you, so you will need some paper, some pencils or pens, and something for shading, crayons or pens or pencils, and something round to draw around, so that could be a lid um, of a milk bottle or a jar, or it could be a cup, like I found a plastic cup in the kitchen, I'm going to draw around that, so I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so I'm ready to get started. I've got my paper and I've got a book just to lean on so I've got a nice soft surface underneath. I've got my cup. So I'm gonna place that in the middle of the paper and you need to take a pencil. I'm gonna do the same color. I've got a colored pencil, but I'm gonna do the same color for drawing all the way around. So I'm gonna draw around the cup in the middle. Go all the way around, then I'm going to take off the cup and I'm going to try and just place roughly where the middle is with my pencil. Once I've done that, I'm going to put the cup on overlapping that circle and I'm going to draw around it again so it's next to it but starting from the middle of the circle this time. I'm going to lift it off and then I'm going to do the same again on the other side. So place my cup on near the middle, draw around, and then lift it off. So there you go, you've got your three circles together. Now I'm going to do the same again underneath and on top. So I'm going to find the middle again, so I'll just make that a bit clearer, and then place my cup just next to the middle, start from the middle point and draw around the cup again. Lift off and then I do the same underneath. So starting from the middle point, place my cup below and draw around. And then if I lift it off, I've got myself one, two, three, how many circles can you see? Four, and then one in the middle, five. But it's created a new design. So once we've got that, then you can choose your colors and you can shade it in and color it how you like. So if you'd like to do another one and want to play around with design ideas, you can just feel free. I'm going to show you one more um, idea with the cups. I'm going to start at the corner of my page. I've chosen a different colour this time. I've got kind of turquoisey green colour. I'm just going to do one circle and then I'm just going to slightly shift my cup along and do another. And I'm going to try and space it evenly, so each time I just move my cup roughly the same amount along each time. So I'm not going too far, roughly keeping the distance that you move it each time the same as the last. Where do I go? Keep going one more along. Probably endless possibilities you could do with a, a cup and a pencil drawing. I'm just going to give you some ideas. So if I take it off already, you can see it looks a bit like a tunnel. I don't know if you've seen those things that bounce down the stairs um, and they're stretchy. It looks a bit like one of those. So I'm just going to keep on going a little bit further until I get to the top of the page. Each time, just moving it a little bit further along. And when I reach the top, I'm going to stop. So 
you can see it's created quite an interesting pattern already. And it can be quite fun to colour because you get lots of different areas to colour. You could choose to do each circle um, overlapping a little bit of a different colour or you could choose to colour each little new space that's been created. So that's up to you to use your own design. I think I'm going to leave mine there. I might just go down the other way a little bit here. This is looking quite complicated but all I'm doing is just drawing around the cup as I go and you can just have fun and play around with it until you've found a drawing that you like and then you can enjoy colouring it. space there. 